Hey my beautiful Aries, Adrian Nelson here. Haven't posted in a while, I do apologize. It's been a little bit crazy. And you know, December in itself, there's a lot of things that are happening in the zodiac energies. So I just want to sort of run through very quickly what is happening um, zodiacally for you. And then we're going to draw some tarot cards on that. Like as always, I'm sending you some Reiki healing energy using this beautiful Lemurian Quartz Crystal. So if there's any area in your life where you need healing, where you need support, where you're feeling overwhelmed, where you're feeling lack, where you're feeling limitation, the energies are crazy at the moment, place your hands on your heart, take a nice deep breath and say yes to it. And as you breathe out, have the willingness to release all resistance, all craziness, all everything that is just blocking you. Okay? Um, so Aries, obviously on December the 13th, we um, we had that Mercury retrograde that started, and it's it's really really insane, um, and it's running until January the second. Now, with this Mercury retrograde, and especially the way that it affects you, Aries, it's one of those energies where, um, you know, we may feel inclined to do something. You're like, I must do something. I must make some sort of change. I must make some sort of decisions. I must set something in place, but. This is more a space of introspection. This is a time when you want to sort of refocus your goals, your ambitions, you know, um, and, and sort of really see how far you've come as opposed to where it is that you want to go, you know. So it's a very important thing that you want to do at this particular point in time. Um, even, you know, if you find yourself not being as... I'm always going to say as concerned or as worried or in, on top of things as you would normally be. I'm going to say to you, Aries, don't be too concerned about it. It's a very natural feeling, especially for you to have at this particular point in time. You know, um, it's 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 sort of like a temporary pause that's taking place for you right now, especially with your career. Then when you look at the path in life going forward, it's almost like there are certain things that need to, to shift into place. And you want to just, you know, wait for those things to happen. Um, so don't try to really push anything too much. Then obviously on December the 12th, um, which is that powerful 12-12 energy, that powerful aligning 12-12 energy, we had the new moon in Sagittarius. And, you know, Sagittarius is obviously a very adventurous sort of energy. Um, you know, it's, it's an energy of like, let's go, let's do things and stuff like that. So, you know, uh, things may feel a little conflicting to you at the moment because on the one end, you feel like I must go, 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 go. And on the other end, you may feel totally lethargic or, you know, more chillax than you've ever felt before. And you may like be, what's going on? This is literally a time when you want to let the chips fall where they may. That's it. Just let the chips fall wherever they're going to fall, my beautiful Aries. Okay. Embracing the past. You can look forward to a much better future. Honestly, seriously, you know, you like that. You embrace that for yourself. You place your hand on your heart. You say yes. And you will find that as you go into this month, and it might actually start for you sooner than for any of the other energies, so probably already started, where you may just find yourself thinking very expansively, you know, and you are strongly, cons um, um, you are strongly, my apologies, um, encouraged to consider all possibilities. So consider everything, but don't just jump into things, all right? Um, you are getting some real opportunities for adventure, uh, um, you know, to, to sort of like ditch the comfort zones and things like that, which is really, really cool. Um, and which is really great because early in this month, you know, when Neptune went direct on December the 6th, you know, you may have felt in a space where almost like you were forced to make decisions, but it's almost like you, you didn't have the... Um, how can I say this? Almost like the leniency, the opportunity, the option to, to choose as you'd like to. You may have felt very much sort of like in a box, very conflicted, you know, um, like like you had to make some choices. But, you know, in the same, at the same token, it, it's almost like everything felt very conflicted and very restricted and very confined, you know, um, almost unfair in many, many ways. But that is basically passed for you at the moment, which is really, really fantastic. And now you can look forward to um, quite a lot of great things happening. Um, and then, of course, on December the 26th, it is, that's when you have the full moon actually in Cancer, which is very emotional energy. And the build up towards that can, for you, you know, there's the conflicting energies can be very heavy for you because there can be times when it almost feels like you can't breathe. 
you know, and obviously, you know, around Christmas time and, you know, depending on whatever's happening in your life and with your family and, you know, the holidays can be very crazy in any case. It can almost feel like this emotional overwhelm at times. You really, really want to give yourself some breaks, my beautiful Aries, and be kind to yourself and don't overwhelm yourself with anything. Try your best to get out in nature, put your feet in water, you know, like be it like a swimming pool or like a river or a bathtub or like a little basin or whatever. You know, just sort of calm yourself, you know, find ways to calm yourself. And um, even maybe just like, you know, maybe like coarse salt or like Epsom salts in a bath to just sort of like pull the toxins out of your body as well. Always remember to moisturize really well after you do that because as great as, you know, a salt bath and like an Epsom salt bath and even a bicarbonate of soda bath can be, um, read up a little bit about it just to make sure that you don't in any way affect your health negatively. Um, but you want to moisturize afterwards as well. All right. Let's see what we've got for you in tarot images, my beautiful, beautiful Aries. I would love to know where in the world we are connecting from. I'm in beautiful Cape Town in South Africa. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. We're having obviously summer that's coming over here. You've got three cards coming out. All right. Also, just what I wanted to say to you is, so there's a number of people that, you know, have been wanting to get um, 2024 um, prediction readings from me. They're very, very detailed. They break down month by month. Um, I just want to ask you that, you know, if you do decide to book one and you pay via PayPal, please send me an email to let me know that you've done it. You know, or you can send me a WhatsApp, the details are in the description, because um, I took a few days off and I came back and I, you know, I saw the, <laughs> there were like a couple over there um, and I'm like, oh my goodness, you know, um, so, so, so please... I do still have some spots available, but if you would like to book with me, please send me an email just to let me know to check availability first. All right. Um, also want to let you know that there's a WhatsApp group that I started. It's a free group where I draw a card every day. Um, there's nothing that you need to do in order to, to be part of it. You can just join it. There's a link in the description. And I also like to post updates on what's happening, you know, some guidance astrologically on my Facebook group or on my Instagram, whichever suits you best. You're more than welcome to join via those as well. All right. Um, energy that came out for you in the tarot, you had three cards coming out, my beautiful, beautiful Aries. The first one that came out is the Queen of Pentacles, which I actually think is really, really cool for you. Because the Queen of Pentacles is all about, um, you know, all your hard efforts paying off. So again, especially with finances, especially with the job, there's not that need, you know, there's not that stringent sort of necessity to, to try and push things, to try and make things happen. Um, you've put a lot of hard work into everything. Of course, there's a general reading and, you know, dealing with the Aries, wherever you've got Aries in your chart. Um, but... You know, what I do see over here is that, you know, all the hard work that you've put in is actually paying off. And especially if you've been feeling that, um, you know, especially if you've been feeling that things towards you have been unfair, you know, that you haven't been treated very, very fairly, um, that, that, that maybe you were in a, in a situation or a work circumstance or in a home circumstance, however it may, however it may resonate with you, where um, it's, it's, like like you were taken advantage of, you know, um, you were almost like bullied in that environment. Know that the right people are noticing you, the right people have been seeing you, they may have been looking at you for a while, and now there's fair compensation that's coming about for you. Okay, that's really, really cool. Then you've got the lover's energy, which is Gemini energy, which is Mercury energy, which is really, really great to get because Mercury energy is so predominantly present at the moment, it's so strongly influential at the moment. And this lover's energy, which traditionally was called choice energy, it's really speaking um, about the power that you have within yourself, the power that you that you send into the universe when your inner energy is balanced, your divine male and feminine energy is balanced, you know, when you have the twin flame energy inside of you. So if there is anything that you maybe want to focus on, you know, again, try to keep yourself as calm as possible, try to keep things as as, almost as pleasant as possible, I want to say to you. Um, you know, try to not overwhelm yourself with anything. Um, let people's drama be their drama. You know, try to not get involved in it. Um, really maintain your peace. And if you do, everything will just work out beautifully for you. Now, does that mean that with the Five of Swords, does that mean that everybody's just going to let you be and they're going to be like, oh, no, Aries, it's fine. You know, you just do your thing. Namaste, love and light, no worries. Uh-uh. There are going to be those individuals that they are going to try to disrupt your peace. 
they are going to try to um, you know I see um, that there are definitely energies here that are trying to sort of come back into your life with the same old drama that they tried before so almost like you know supposedly new game but it's like the same old trick type of thing um, and I wouldn't be too concerned about that because I, I can very much see that you can see things for what they are. I can also see that with inside yourself there's a lot stronger resolve than there was before. So I wouldn't be too concerned about, you know, any sort of drama coming your way. As long as you can maintain your own balance, everything else pretty much works itself out. All right. So my beautiful Aries, I hope that it helps. I wish you a beautiful, beautiful holidays for the rest of December. Um... I will see you very soon for your January reading. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do go ahead and subscribe if you have. I would like to thank you very, very much. And if you would also go ahead and like the video, I would definitely appreciate it very much as well. From my heart, namaste, love and life. I'll see you next time.